Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to another day uh, on the river. Uh, I'm going to actually, I'm on the river doing today. I have a Friday on a, a syndicate water and uh, obviously it's Friday and the conditions are basically beautiful. Just to get out well the water's in good, well, I'm sure the water's in good condition but we're really early in the season so whether we got a hatch of flies is up to up to nature so but there's every chance there'll be a hatch of flies now it's coming up to half past eleven and then the warmest part of the day is usually this time through to like a two and it's very more likely to see a hatch or get a hatch of flies so uh, so we've got hopefully a good couple of hours of fishing but even though just getting out doesn't matter uh, plans just to fish uh, I like the dry flies so I want to fish dries so I'm just going to wander down I mean uh, at the bottom of the beat I'm fishing there's a way way up you've seen me fish this beat before uh, so in the River Doon. Now the River Doon, unlike the River Era fish, it has, it doesn't have grayling. Now the river looks in good order, so, uh, from here, but, uh, so it's just brown trout. Uh, it has a good, well, it used to have a really good sea trout, early sea trout run in April at one time. Same as the River Era. Not many people know that, but they did used to have any sea trout that did run the river was were quite big. Uh, and the only one I've ever seen in April was eight pounds. It was a good size great sea trout, but yeah, that was on the river air. But anyway, I'm here for trout. So we'll see how it goes. So we'll get down onto the river and as long as I don't quite sludgy here. It's quite a steep drop here but should be okay and uh, go into the river maybe a wee tinge of colour in the river I'm not sure I need to a wee bit closer it's just maybe the way the light is if it's a bit of colour in it it's not going to do us any favours like but no I think it's 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 okay-ish Ah, it's fine. It's not as clear as it normally is. It's not gonna. There's a wee. I mean, there was a lot of rain the other day. I see a fly coming off there, but it's not. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's not an olive. Normally, you get olives at this time of year, March browns. That's. Um, we we say we had rain, rain for a full day, but two or three days ago, and the rivers rose. So uh, it kind of, it's probably the, the remains of that, but you know, it's clear enough, it's, you can see it better here. It's, it's fine, it's ideal actually. All we need now is fly. Um, and the sun's lovely and warm, and there's, there's no rain. Uh, sorry, so much no rain, uh, no wind I meant to say. Uh, there's obviously no rain because it's nice and bright. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to go down this stretch. So I'm going to work. I'm going to fish maybe for the top up, the top here. I may go up, see what things are happening. But I'm going to maybe I'm going to try further down. It's always a good spot. Here's always got fish as well. There's a good area down here that oh, holds a few good fish. Uh, so we'll see we'll see how it goes. You see my plan is to fish the dry fly. Now everybody knows well the last video I put up, everybody's talking about the wild garlic now. That's wild garlic, the one with the flower there. And if you if you walk through it, um, you really do get all the the smell of garlic's lovely. If you like garlic anyway. And uh, I've even been given recipes what to do with it. <laughs> And uh, I do fancy 
I've never, I've never cooked with it. I'm not the best cook in the world. Um, but anyway, I'll see. But anyway, we're going to dawn her down. You see, this is a lovely area here. This is an old monkey puzzle tree. Or the tree a monkey can't climb because it's got too many spines on it. Uh, so, anyway. We'll dawn her down. It's a lovely day. Whether a hatch or not. We'll see how it goes. Now this is uh, the pool I'd like to fish once, if we hatch this start, this is where I would expect to catch this pool. A reasonable fish anyway, it always has one or two nice fish. And uh, when I'm looking up here there is, there is colour in the river, but um, I don't think it will affect the river, or the, if there's going to be a hatch at all. It's a kind of winter level, if you want to call it. And uh, I mean, this is my first time in the dune this year. It's the, it's the first uh, cast on it. So, fingers are crossed that we should hopefully see one or two fish. This run here, always, especially in lower water, is really good. Can I give you a look at it? As we run here, is always has plenty of fish moving, and uh, look at the flies. There's plenty of terrestrial light flies about. Some small flies though in the water, but um, not the fly I'm looking for. That looks good. Oh, sun's right in front of us. Nice wee look, just have a look first. I've got my 9 foot 4 weight. This is my cadence rod, this is one I've been using the last couple of years. So it's a great rod. Uh, it's one I really enjoy using, especially for dry fly, if wets and even nymphs. Um, it's, it's, in, it's got a nice action, it's got a nice progressive action that allows you to play much any size of fish really, especially when it comes to trout. So, just don't them down. The same right at the beginning, if there's going to be a hatch today, it'll be the next hour or two. So, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Well, not much happening at the moment. I've hung about for a good half hour, watching to see if there's any, there's no fly in the river yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fish an area, this long area here, just close to the wall. Uh, I've basically got the dry fly on, I've got Dynamite Harry on here. Uh, this is just a parachute olive pattern. And I've got Basically a nymph, an olive nymph. Now there's a a small two mil bead on this that which maybe I'll get it down a wee bit. Just piggyback, piggyback just tied to the bend of the hook. And uh, it's a good method just for searching. I'm just gonna it's better than sitting about too long. I mean there's no sign of any fly yet, so I'm gonna quickly give it a cast, just starting this area here and work my way down around the bend. And well, if I start to see fish fly coming off, what I'll do is I'll go up to the main run up at the top here and uh, hopefully start to see one or two fish rising. But we'll see how it goes, see how it works. Uh, they start quite close. Whoop. Now, the piggyback style, I don't know, it's quite hard to see in the camera. But basically, you've got your dry fly, it's a good way of searching. I can see it, much like a sighter, if you want to call it, it's a sighter. But it's still working as a fly, I'll still catch on it, a fish wants to rise. And uh, it's a great way of 
searching for fish and uh, especially at this time of the year when there's if you do get a hatch it's wee drubs and drabs and it's a quick way of changing and covering areas because some fish are interested in the nymph and more interested in the nymph especially when it's just starting and they are in the dry but once they switch on to the dry you've, you've got to be able to go and uh, I say it's a good way of just working along now you can cast it much like it, just same as the way you cast a dry fly upstream just allow it to drift you can let it drop below you if you want obviously if it disappears or pulls you strike uh, or if a fish comes up and takes the dry then obviously you strike I'm just going to work it along the side here I'm not going to spend too much time, I'm just going to slowly work my way down I'm not disturbing the pool too much and then if a hatch does come on uh, fish do come up they do love to this time of year come up to the dries and such I've got to feed so anyway we'll give it a wee quick cast down through keep watching for any fly starting or any hatches when you can get a good trout or two down here I'm just going to go in the grass here don't need to wait you can see just as well in the bank well we're heading back up to the, the stream and we'll see what's happening uh, I've not seen any really any olives or any, any fly on the river so it's still early yet, still plenty of time so we just have to be patient and see what's going to happen and uh, just go with the flow so we'll head back up and see what's going Well, nothing yet, the folks. Uh, just an odd, very odd fly in the water, and I mean very odd. So I'm just going to have to. I'm just going to fish again. And I've missed one in the dry fly. That's it. It came up to the dry just out of the blue. So I'm just going to fish through this run, just the edge. It's, so the road spinner on the water, believe it or not. And uh, so there have been fly coming off, so. And uh, it's early yet, I mean, there's still a chance. If I had a look at pool above, we expect hopefully to catch a fish or two, but if it doesn't come too much, I'm going to put a, some wets on and just run, through, come through the runs, just work my way through. And uh, hopefully that will save the day, like it did last. Uh, it did on Monday, uh, we, the beginning of the week when I fished the river air. There was very little happening and I fished the, some wet, a wet, especially one wet fly, the, the water hen blower. And that was the fly that caught the fish, so... I was determined to fish the dry, but... It was just one of those days, much like today. So I'm just going to say, work my way down this new run. Just fishing the dry, the nymph below it. I'm not going to fish too far out. There's no use fishing that fast water out there, it's just too fast. The fish will move in. And uh, mid water, a nice wee break in the water right in the middle there. It was ideal. I mean, if I see fish rising in the faster water, I'll certainly fish to them, but I doubt that the day. I can feel the water, it's actually... 
it's rather cold. I mean, the River Doon comes from well, Lochdown, but the water's fed off the Galloway Hills, and it's well, Lochdown's about 800 feet, 900 feet above sea level, so it's a bit cooler than we are down here. We have sea level, really. Sea's not that far from here. It'll certainly warm up in its way down, but it, I'm not warm up that much. So it's a What I'm doing here is I'm obviously fishing the dry, 90 degrees slightly from me, but I'm letting it drift and then I'm going to trail the nymph below it because the brown trout do like a, a fly, it's been, especially wild brownies, uh, which that's all it's in here is wild brown trout, there's no stock fish in here and uh, they like to chase a fly at times. Aggressive wee fish. I say, if the hatch doesn't come to anything, then what I'm going to do is just fish some wets, going to go up the top, and then work my way down from where we started, or where we come onto the water, and just fish between the rocks and so on. Trying a wee bit further over here, see so uh, I'm not doing anything close to us, so your bits there you go. Well done, I've got a nice fish. Oh jeez, eh? feels like a good fish. There we are, this is gonna be if I land it anyway. First brown trout of the year on the river Doon, so Like a nice fish. I need to I can net them at all. There's a branch just below the surface there, so anyway there we are folks. The nymph does pay off the now I got a question about netting fish. Recently, uh, no, I don't like netting fish. I do, but take a net with me. But this, this fish is, uh, if I can let a fish go without using the net, I will. And uh, this is does the way to give in this fish. It's a good sized fish. There we go. Um, my hands will do less damage than a net, so anyway, there we go, folks. It's a lovely brown trout on the, the olive nymph. Just like you see him, he's in good condition, actually. There we are, this little lovely fish, a bit close to a, a good three quarters of a pound to a pound, that fish. There we go. There we are, first fish of the the season on the river down. There you go. So the old piggyback the nymph works. And uh, as I say, it's certainly when things are quiet, it's worth doing. Just an all-off nymph. That's on the, these new hooks for the grab gate, the heavy duty one. Or the heavy weight gauge. It sits down that wee bit better. So anyway, we'll go back out. Yeah, I'm not fishing far out. I don't want to fish too far. 
<coughs> I know this pool uh, quite well and the fish do mid-water, like, I really like to fit dry, they like coming in quite close, so... And I'm letting the fly drop below me this time, so I'm swinging in for a wee bit. Now I've worked my way up, uh, I missed one fish, I see an odd olive now. It's good to see there's an odd olive coming off. That's the first couple of flies I've seen hatching, so and hopefully we may see one or two fish rising very soon, so Okay folks, now I've changed to a couple of wet flies I've got the water hen blower and the dropper five foot from the fly line and about six foot from the water hen blower I've got the golden plover and hare's ear so two great flies at this time of the year and all I'm going to do is just fish between the rocks I'll fish upstream I'll fish across and down I'll fish every way I can and uh, see if we can get a take or two a couple of fish anyway we start quite close just bringing the flies through the rocks watch the tip of your line watch for an especially the tip of the line slowing up we're stopping we're pulling away and uh, hopefully we can catch a couple of fish when I mean these things are really quiet not, they say that's why I'm fishing wets there's just nothing happening I see it's still early in the season, it's, even though it's a really good day, so you couldn't get a better day. There's still the odd fly, there's one there just coming off, but there's not there's no hatch, nothing. If they do if the flies do start hatching they'll change quite quick. But uh change to a dry if they start rising. But it doesn't look like it's gonna happen, so the wets are always the go-to and things are like this. Certainly saved the day on Monday when I was fishing. That was the I didn't change the wet so I wouldn't have probably caught any fish. And I've had one in the nymph, so anyway well I'm gonna work my way right down. See how we got on. I'm not gonna spend too much time in any one area, I'm just gonna quickly work through to see. These are wee brown trout in here, or wild brownies, they, they like to chase a fly, so... And fish them right in close, these fish can... are happy to rise or... close to the bank. I'm going to work my way down now uh, into these pools in the dam where I'm more likely to chance of getting a fish before the day is by or before if there's going to be a hatch anyway at least there's some anode fly coming off so the fish may be interested so I'm going to head down ok well, Come back down to here. I'm hoping there's, there's quite a few fly here. Uh, gosh, that's the most fly I've seen. Maybe we'll make it, might see a fish rising, but this is where I caught the fish earlier, just down a bit from here. This is where I expect to. It's just such a nice pool. We've got the fast water here, flies come off. And uh, oh, there's, a, there's more fly here. You just there's quite a few fly there. No sign of any fish rising though. That's the most fly I've seen so far. I may have moved up where I should have stayed. But we'll see. 
It's all fished away, it's just now. There is a few fly blown by, like so they're hatching in the the water here. We've got olives, spring olives, and the old March brown. It's quite a few fly. No sign of any fish. No flagging down there. Here we go. Guess where that fish was. Ah, oh, he's away. Bugger. Anyway, there we are folks, that's a, a fish anyway, it was a nice brown trout as well, we're looking at it. I need to check my fly. Make sure it's there. <laughs> Should be. That one put in the water, the, uh, the, the, the golden plover. Great fly, another one. Anyway, it's there. The hook's fine, it's just came off. I'm just going to fish quite short now. If there's one fish, there'll be another one. Be a breeze now. Oh, I got a big pool there. Bugger. Again, these trees are behind me, bushes are behind me. I'm going to strap the fly in towards me, can just a tape. Tell you what I'm going to do, put a dry in the point. A dry fly on. Uh, I've just put it on the point fly with the cast, the wet fly. There is one or two flies on the water, so I'm just going to. There is a fish, it's been rising. Uh, no, there's another one there. There's a wee one. I think it was just a wee fish. And this fly's coming off now, so. Which is, there's one there. Be down a wee bit. So I'm saying is, you could wait all. I mean, I've been here for half eleven, and it's it's after two, and uh, that's the first fish I've seen rising. So there's a chance we may get. There's a wee fish there. Oh. God! There we are, well they are, they are there, so... Missed another one. Good, but <laughs> oh, it's a nice fish. A bit short.
Oh, that's a nice fish. I may have to change the, I never I think my flies are a wee bit light. Um, okay, I've changed the bigger I've changed the uh, a bigger fly. Oh straight away. Oh God. There we are. I changed, I was actually fishing a smaller dun. I've changed to a larger one because there's quite a few large March Browns coming off. And uh, as you saw, <laughs> straight up, it was a first cast, and straight away it came up, had a go. Uh, I think there's another one just slightly further over, I'll see. There we go. Oh, God! I'm up the tree now. It's not my day, perhaps. That's what happens sometimes. I want this because it's come off. Uh, my cast has just caught the edge of it. I may be able to pull it off. Sometimes that happens. I just take my time. Um, I drop a fly, I've still got this, I still have my wet fly cast on, but straight away you see the difference where I changed to a slightly bigger fly and instantly, uh, practically two or three casts, uh, two, two takes. Unfortunately I lost the fish. And that's just the way it goes, at least I was getting takes anyway. Uh, and a good brown trout as well. A good sign anyway. Um, but anyway, we'll go back in. Hope they've got a short memory. <laughs> Jesus. We'll, we'll give it a second in there and we'll cast further up. But the bigger fly straight away, it was just a, just felt it wasn't right. I mean, there is a lot of marks brown there. Again, not so much on the water, but coming by, so... Let me see where am I? Yeah, it's sitting nice. It's just unlucky, that's all. It's just fish are coming off. These brown trout are really splashy. And, uh, they, they take the fly really fast. Any of this head and tail stuff is as quick as it can take it. Uh, I'm just gonna I think maybe that was the main two trout that I was after. I had my chances, I think. I want him to come back up and you know, I missed him. I'm not doing too well today, folks. I mean, I'm obviously rising fish, hooking fish, losing fish. I've had a nice fish, like, um, it's just one of those days, that's what happens. Some days you can hook every fish that takes your fly, other days you just miss everyone. Good luck. The Marks Browns are coming off now, I can still see the nodding. We've got the right fly on them, eh? whenever I change to the bigger fly straight away, the, they started to come to us. That's an, an olive this time, spring olive. It's a nice fly. Lovely. So the other two flies that's coming off. <laughs> uh, what she expected this time of year. Right, I'm going to go down. Uh, I think I had my. I'll give it a wee rest and come back up 
I'll go down and have a quick look to see if there's anything moving in the pool below. Okay folks, I've moved down a wee to the this kind of lawn. This, this pool has a I mean it's not as good as the stream above like but if you see a fish rising it's usually a good one. And uh I don't know why along the back far bank but at times you get them in the centre as well so I'm just going to fish this side of the, the run I'll just walk down, I'm not going to spend too much time and uh, see if there's anything moving I mean the flies seem to be more in the stream I'm on the run above but we'll, we'll see, we'll give it a rest up there because I've had hooked, missed, never landed a fish but I've got plenty of takes and uh, I'll just fish this dry and I've got a wet in the centre, I just kept the cast on, the, the wet fly cast and just for the dry in the point, which you can get away with doing. So, see, there's not a lot of fly around. I mean, there's nothing here. I've not seen any. It's all up in the, the fast water, but I'll just. I'm down here now. I'll get a quick, quick look. Ah, there's one there. Just as I said. Yeah, don't mind that, but we'll get the dry over it. Wee bit, need to get a wee bit closer. Just very close to the bank there. It's right in there. That's better. It's going to drift right over it. Nope. Right on the top of it. I'm oh, going to put it slightly further up. There we go. It's a nice fish. Got it right on it. Hopefully, you can maybe see this one. It's a nice brownie. I see you can always get these fish uh, close to the far side. It's a nice brown trout this. Much like the last one I think, the one I did land anyway. So it's worth coming down for a cast, at least I've got some. up here a bit. These are all wild brownies, these are not stock fish. There you go. Put them in the net. There you go. A lovely fish. Is a fly out. There you go. Hopefully you can see them. Just let them go. So a nice brown trout. Still a wee bit lean, but uh, nice, there we go, in a way. There we go, folks. Another nice brownie. That's on the, the Dynamite Harry, the March Brown version. And, uh, oops. It was worth coming down. Okay, so we've, we've came back up. We'll give it a good quarter of an hour, 20 minutes just to settle again. Um, 
Bring it back in just to see if there's any. Oop. Just going to slowly work my way up. And I've had a good day, like, three years. I mean, I've had two, I landed two nice fish, I've played a couple. I've missed uh, quite a few. And uh, you can't ask for much more than that. There, eventually the flies started to come off. A little bit later than I thought, like, I thought it would have been a wee bit earlier, but, oh, there's a fish just in front of me. Just not far out. I've still got the dry on and a bit. I think that was just a wee fish, but we'll give it a go. See the marks brown there, lovely big fly. It's just beside my dry as well, as wait. So there's still there's still fly coming off. There he is there. Hopefully. I don't want to damage him, there he is. You can see him in his glory. Lovely big fly, it's good to see him. Blow him off my hand. Best if you're looking at flies, don't let them land partly on you rather than picking them up because they're easy damaged. I wonder if there's fish rising up there now, seeing there's, well, there's plenty of fly coming off here and there's flies coming up uh, coming off up the top. Oh, there's a fish there. It's not far out that fish. Right. The fly quite dry. There's even a stone fly, watch this. Is it? This is amazing. This time of year, there you go. A large stone fly. A lovely big fly. Gosh, we'll get everything today. He was struggling in the water, so I saved him. I'm going to put him to the bank. There you go. There you go, there you go. <sighs> Lovely big fly. So we've got stone fly, we've got spring olives, March browns. So the fish must be seeing loads of things. Same that the nymphs of the stonefly usually crawl to the bank rather than swim up and hatch, they crawl to the bank hatch. I'm just working my way up this wee run, yeah. Fishing blind, uh, there's not much fly left now, and it's hatched as, unless it can come back on, it's what it sometimes does. I'm just fishing right in the middle here because there was a fish moved earlier, but try a bit further out.
Okay. I think we've had a, a fun in this this run today. I'm going to quickly work my way up and uh, see if we can catch it on the way up in the dry. I'll see it in rising anyway. Oops. That's been fun. Good fun. Okay, coming on to this pool. See what it's like. Uh, the sun's starting to come off it a bit. And it's a wee quick second or two just to see if there's anything. Looking for fly life, there's very little or none. So doesn't look very promising. I think we've got the best of it down in the, the pool below. So I'm going to give this a wee quick go. I've still got the... I kept my wet fly cast on, I just changed the point fly to a dry. You can get away with this, away with that most, like this time of the year. So you can't... Uh, you still can catch on the, in the case. I've got the water hand below on the, the dropper. So, I'm just going to work my way up. Cast this floating a wee bit. Yeah. Kind of fishing blind a bit, so we'll see. Maybe ready for in. It's a bit of a wind now. So I'll fish there, the other side. The wind's helped me a wee bit, it's turning my cast over. So hopefully it'll help me get over to that fish. Work my way up to it. Try in here because there's a nice wee fish can lie quite close. Don't even know this area here. There's still a good fly there, I see. Natural beside mine. It's still good to see there's one or two flies there. I'd like that fish to come back up just to see exactly where it was. Could have been further up. Right, let me see. I'll just keep casting in about the area. I see the wind's helping to. There we go. Catch up. Just not a big fish, but it's a fish. It's the main thing. It's a nice wee brownie. Just where I thought it might be. It's a lovely wee fish. Lovely colours. I'm no need a net for this one. Just gonna swallow the fly a wee bit. Well, I'm fishing barbless, so just a matter of pushing. Hopefully it'll just pop out. 
Look at that. It's a lovely brown trout. There you go. Let's go back. Here's a bit. Nice wee fish. Quick dry the fly. Oop, like the bank in there. Cast a wee bit further up here. There we go, another one. Ah, he's off. Good. It's a nice fish there. Oh, there's another one, Jesus. This is a nice fish. That'll be the one I missed the first time lately. It's, it's a nice brownie, this. I'll come below it. Oh, it's nice and silver, that fish. Oh, it's a good sized fish, too. That's a nice brownie. See what it's like. And she's hooking the others. Here we go. Two fish and two casts. It's a nice brown trout. Oh. Just going to bring them out so you can see it. There we go. Lovely fish. And he's off. The days work it out to be <laughs> much far better. It just shows you, it just changes and it doesn't take much to change. And uh, we were struggling earlier, not to even to see a fish, no mind anything else. Back over, see what we can do, see if there's anything else lying there. Uh, some nice fish caught there, so I'm surprised, like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, Oh, the fly's starting to sink a wee bit. Make sure it's dry. I mean, I'm not covering rising fish. I'm just... I saw one fish rise and I'm casting in about the same area and I've just did one fish after the other. So, it's uh, really good. I'm starting to think about going home. It's going to really nice there. Because I've had a great day, I can't complain. There I can. End up with some, some nice fish, so... When things I thought were going to be, it was really quiet. Yeah, I'm not sure if I've got this fly, uh, the one that's been catching the fish on the internet, I'll see. If I will put a link below the video when I get home. It certainly proved to be the killer anyway. The Dynamite Harry is a great fly, it's one of these great impressionist type flies, it just seems to, it floats and floats. And uh, when you see the fly up beside the, the real one, it's very close. Especially from a distance anyway. Fish like it. And maybe the last five minutes or so up the top. I've done well there. So just try in here. Anyway, there we are. That was fun. <laughs> that was quite one fish after the other. And uh, this shows you how it can change. So anyway folks, we're going to head up to the 
decently the pool, we first pool we saw as we walked onto the river. We gave it a cast before we head, to head home, so. Um, okay. I'm going to head up to the pool just below where we can walk, where we walked on. This is the first pool. Uh, and it turned out really well. It's, there are three ink fish there. Missed good two or three. So it's been great fun. So I'm going to give this, this wee round a go. I always like to give it a go before I. I head back to the car because it's it's a, it's a good wee pool at times and it's got the dry on anyway as well as I've got the wet in the dropper believe it or not still get the I didn't change my the tapered leader I just changed and the wet cast on and all I did was put the dry fly in the point and it works just as well straight through five pound nylon and the option of obviously catching with the, the dropper as well I uh, haven't had anything on it like but it's all been in the dry really one nymph, one nymph earlier on the first fish so I'm just going to quickly fish a couple of bits here just to see Swap my way over into the run there because it's always good to have a wee quick cast. Oh, Slip. I did miss a fish earlier in here in the, the nymph, like the sun's off it now. Still the odd one fly there, I see. Where I normally catch is not so much in the fast water, but just in this far side here, that's when heading over it, and then this bit just below. It's maybe a wee bit high for this pool, it's actually better when it's lower and there's a ridge that runs along that over here and the fish lie normally along that uh, they lie in here as well but when the water's up a wee bit they could drop back a bit nah, nothing nothing to do in this bit anyway Always I say I like to have a cast here before I go, before I finish. No. Well folks, that's it. Had a good it's quarter past three, we came down at half past eleven. So it's been a good three, four hours, so Good fun. I mean, having the fish every minute, but I've been sitting watching as well as uh, crossed my fingers we'd see one or two fish rising. We did we end up catching one or two in the dry, so there we are. So, my good fun. So, we head up to the car. It's a lovely stretch, this of water, it's good. As I say, the river Doon is it's famed for its salmon fishing rather than its trout fishing. But as you can probably see, there is there's some nice trout in it. <laughs> it's really good. So, what a difference when we're in the sun. How much the heat's far, far better. So there we are folks, I hope you enjoyed that wee session. I uh, filmed for about three hours anyway. I'm up at three hours of video and you'll get bored with that, so 
I'll put the highlights up. Obviously catching the odd fish there. And uh, show you how things go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, this wee steep hill, jeez. Doesn't get any easier. Good for the old legs. Keeps you fit. Whew. So anyway, we're at the top. Nice fresh air. So there we are. I hope you enjoy the video and again it's always great to hear what you think and uh, once I get my breath back we'll be back fishing again I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching